Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah, the all gracious, the all merciful. Hello to you all dear uh, viewers and to you who are watching our program about Islamic uh, propagation and also Islamic communication. Um, if you remember in the previous discussions we talked about different techniques of Islamic uh, propagation and we talked about different uh, samples and also examples. Um, up to now, we have uh, surveyed over f more than uh, 30 techniques of uh, pr propagation. Some of them were you no know, negative, some of them were positive. And we told in those sessions that which one are beneficial, more beneficial to, to the, for example, those who want to, uh, for example, give a good example or to be a good example of uh, the propagator, especially when you consider the target audience. Uh, one of the techniques that we are going to talk about is that you know always remember, in if you want to be more influential and to be positive in the view of the audience, is to talk about the similarities. Remember, the normal lecture. Uh, the lecture or for example a member or also for example when you talk to the common lay people do not go to the uh, you know, to the points which are uh, controversial okay, or to make the audience sad or to feel that you are doing some kinds of missionary job or doing something that you want to reject the audience idea, especially when you are t you are Muslim, you are talking to a non-Muslim, okay? Or if you are in a non-Muslim country, always talk about the good points and also to the similarities. So one of the points, and this is also very Quranic uh, example, that talking about the commonalities to the common points. For example, in uh, Quran, we have in chapter of Allah Imran, verse number 64, that قُلْ يَا أَحْلَى الْكِتَابِ تَعَوْلَا وَلَا كَلَمَةً سَوَانَ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ أَلَّا نَعْوَذَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ O people of the book, to come to common words between us and you, and we do not worship other than God. So, when God the Almighty orders Prophet to talk to the non-Muslim, to the people of the book, to the Jews, to the Christians, for example, God the Almighty orders that Ask them to come to commonalities, okay? Kalimat and sawa bayna na bayna to come to the to the to the common words, to the common word between us and you. What is that common word? For example, we are worshiping one God. We are believing in hereafter. We are believing in prophets. We are believing in the metaphysics. We believe in the angels. We believe in heaven and hell. We believe, for example, in divine books, revelation. Prophet Muhammad, Jesus the Christ, and etc. These are the okay. These are the points. Even we Muslims, if we don't believe in the uh, previous prophets, we are not a Muslim, r real Muslim. If you say that, for example, Jesus was, uh, God forbid, not a real person, or for example, Moses, Abraham, the other prophets were not prophets. So it means that even you are not a Muslim. So. Talking about common points is one of the important uh, techniques that you can be bene benefited. And for example, in chapter of Ankebud, verse number 46, that our God and your God is one, is the same. Okay? For example, when uh, this is very important in, the, in dealing with the uh, uh, for example, with those who are not from your religion and from your faith, talk, talk on commonalities. That, for example, when there is a tree, a real tree outside, for example, in the farm, in the yard, everywhere, okay, you see a tree. Okay? If you gather 10 people from 10 countries, from 10 languages, okay, one of them would say, for example, a German person would say, this is Baum, okay? The English person would say, this is tree. The uh, Persian person would say, this is, for example, Deracht. 
or the Turkish person would say this word and that word, Spanish, Italian, okay, France. These, this is very important that all these people are talking about one reality and that is the outside and the real three outside. When I say this is tree or the German person say this is Baum, okay, it doesn't mean that there are two different things outside. No, their mentality, their language are different. So when we are talking about God in Islam and Christianity, uh, as far as I understood is that no, and according to the text that we have, that we are talking about the same God, but from by different languages. Okay, for example, the Christians, uh, although they are talking about Trinity, but when you are talking to them, they say we are mono, uh, monotheist. We are not polytheist. They, are, they will be unhappy when the, you say that you are polytheist. They say no, we are monotheist. So. But in their interpretation, they have some problems that uh, Muslims always talk about them, that how there can be three persons and at the same time they can they are one reality. Okay, I don't want to talk about, the, uh, for example, uh, points or the critics or anything. However, I want to say that this is Quranic way of dialogue, that God Almighty says that, you know, talk to them that, Elahuna wa Elahukum wahid. That our God and your God is the same. Okay? Or for example, Aman na billadhi on the la wa ilaykum. We believe uh, and we have belief in the uh, books which have been revealed to us and you. For example, Quran and also the, the also divine books. Or for example, God the Almighty says in chapter of Ma'adah, that uh, verse number 44 that inna anzalna tawrat fiha hudan wa nur we have revealed torah or the old testament for example which there is light and guidance in it you know if god the almighty talks in some other parts of the quran that uh, or those who uh, for example are believing in other than god okay and god criticizes some groups of non-Muslims or, for example, uh, these believers that they are believing in other than God or goddesses. But God the Almighty talks about from this side too that God says that we have uh, revealed Torah and there was guidance and light in it. You know, this gives, when you are talking to a Jew or even to a Christian, this, this will opens the door to the dialogue. Always remember in the dialogue, when you want to have dialogue with the audience, okay, the key toward uh, his or her heart to be influential is common words. I'm talking about commonality. And after getting acquaintance and knowing each other, for, for example, one week, one month, and having long discussion, Okay, then you can start talking about, for example, uh, differences or the critics, because in that case you have known each other, and this will be one, uh, very uh, influential. Or there are other, uh, for example, samples in Quran, and uh, and this can be beneficial. Uh, for example, if you refer to them and also if you get benefits from these verses, there are in chapter there are many verses. I just read the ch ch the as much of like the verses and you can you yourself can refer to them because the numbers are very high. For example, in chapter of uh, Ankabut uh, or the spider, you can refer to number verse number forty six or for example in chapter of Maeda verse number 44, in chapter of Ahqaf number one, uh, 12, chapter of Tawbah number 111, chapter of Maida number, verse number 48, chapter of Araf number 157, chapter of Maida again number 15, chapter of Al-Imran uh, verse number 70, 70, 
and also chapter of Nisa verse number 171 chapter of Al Imran 110 and these are some verses that you can refer to them and get benefit from the verses that persuades the audience to talk about the uh, common points one of the other important technique that you can be benefited if you use them is that if you remember in the previous discussion we talked about persuasion and in the previous technique that persuasion is very important when you talk to the good points and positive points if you use energetic words the audience will uh, have some reflections which is positive if you talk about benefited for example if you say to a person that you are I think you are sick, you are ill, you are pale, okay? The color of your face is you know, going uh, yellow, for example. You are pale, I think you are sick. So the person will feel that maybe really I'm sick. Or for example, when you say, oh, you are, you are so better today. I see uh, very uh, brilliant, for example, uh, color in your face. And it shows that and the person would feel better. If you remember, we talked about this technique in detail in the previous uh, discussion. I want to also uh, classify this persuasion in different, different categories. That sometimes, uh, sometimes the persuasion is direct. Okay, for example, you directly talk to the person. Sometimes the persuasion and also uh, the, the propagation is indirect. Okay, uh, in many ahadiths we have that uh, when you want to invite the others to your religion, sometimes invite them by your time, by your language, by your mouth, by your words, verbally, and sometimes you invite them toward yourself by by the language, by your indirect words, by your behavior, you know. This is very important and inshallah in the next uh, session I will talk some techniques of interpersonal communication which is very Im important in the face-to-face -face communication that uh, how your body language can give energy to the audience and give some, uh, for example, good and positive energy to the audience. So, this is important that sometimes you uh, talk indirectly to the audience and at different forms, at the form of, for example, uh, matches or visiting. For example, your neighbor is an indirect persuasion or indirect behavior. You go to visit him, but the person, your neighbor, will think that you have a, a good religion that prescribes you to come and visit me, okay? This is one one of them. So one of the other persuasions is you no know, gradual persuasion, that little by little you try to be influential in the audience. You know, don't be in hurry. When you are always remember in the cultural issues, and also in if you want to be influential in the audience, never hurry. Don't be in rush. That in this session, in this one hour, I I have to be influential, and that's all, and that's over. Not at all. The issue of persuasion, the issue of being influential in the target audience, the issue of being beneficial to the audience is something which is like cultivation. Even culture comes from cultivation. As cultivation takes one year to give fruits, for example, the tree gives. It takes one year to give fruits. Also, cultivation and cultural issues takes long process. So sometimes, for example, if you refer to the history you, and you uh, give, uh, you you take different section, uh, you know, segments and also uh, sections of history, you will see that sometimes the politicians, the those who have uh, uh, done some social projects. They have, for example, allocated 50 years to one project. They know that after half a century, they can be successful. You know, look at the 
new humanism that we have, secularism, laicism, these issues that, for example, they separated religion from uh, the society. And they said religion is something personal at your homes. It must, must be very individual. Okay? This individuality, you think that it was done in one or two years? No. It has been done after maybe 60, 70 years. If you refer to the old people, to the old people, for example, in the Europe, or in the US, if you ask them about the history about 60 years ago, they will say that religion in those times was you know, very more uh, present in the society than today. Today there is very, very little uh, religious, for example, marks and also signs on the streets. For example, you go in you know, one of the, for example, European streets. How many markets, how many Institutes, how many, for example, places are allocated to religious points? Or look at the people's, you know, uh, for example, uh, covering and clothing onto their wards. Or look at the TV programs. How many of them are, talk, are talking about religious points? They are talking about humanity, human rights. But this human rights is determined by themselves. You know, they say, this is humanity that I talk about. But what God says about humanity, what is the point in which divine text, Quran, Bible, or others say? So, uh, in gradual impression on the audience, remember that be, be patient always. Don't be in hurry. Don't be in rush. Always uh, be in gradual way of, as much of fact, uh, efficiency. Also, the revelation of Quran was not in, for example, one year. It took 23 years that Quran, which is the guidance to human beings, have been revealed to the to Prophet of Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, uh, this is also one of the other points. One of the other techniques that uh, can be my last technique in this episodes. And the next program I will talk about uh, one a special point of the uh, international protocols and also international face-to-face -face propagation is that one of the techniques is that you always ask questions from audience. It awakens them. Don't be monotone or monotonous in your speech. That, for example, uh, you start talking for one hour and the listeners are always like this. Some of them are yawning, some of them are sleeping. You know, uh, this is not uh, a good point, you know. You have to, uh, you know, sometimes ask questions, okay, or use body languages to show energy and to also... Uh, make the uh, some kinds of uh, intervals in the mind of the people, or kind of pauses, or kind of breaks, you know, uh, that uh, the audience will not feel, you know, tiresome or to be bothered or to be uh, feeling bad. So, asking questions, giving answers asking them uh, to participation, like workshops, you know, it is. Why workshops today are one of the best methods of you know, teaching is that the workshops are like the ping pong view. You know, both sides and are in action. It is an interaction, and also it is a kind of you know uh, very uh, what can I say? It is a kind of uh, bilateral, mutual, and also reciprocal interaction to one another. So. Uh, this was our uh, 30th episode, and uh, in the previous 30 episodes, I talked in very detail about the definition of the uh, communication, for example, elements of communication, types of communication, the techniques of communication, and also talked about techniques of propagation, 
we have talked about more than 30, 35 techniques of communication and also propagation. Some of them were Islamic, some of them were, were not Islamic, secular techniques. Some of them were good for the uh, you know, advertisement of the products, for example, Islamic products, softwares, and also these points. And I think in, during these 30 sessions, you have g gathered a good, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, good uh, series of information of uh, you know, communication and propagation. Inshallah, the next session will be our last session, uh, which uh, I will talk about just one other point of the international protocol and also way of behavior with the audience. Until the next program, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.